the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of haiku and before i get into this reaction make sure y'all look at the links down below in the description you can find my patreon where i am 10 episodes ahead on everything that i'm watching with the full reactions available of course also my discord come on in and join a little community and uh, last but not least uh friday saturdays and sundays i live stream on this channel um where i play games and just do random stuff you know what i'm saying it's really really fun at 12 p.m pst friday saturday sundays check that out if you can um so last episode on haiku i believe we finished the preliminaries okay we beat ogi south we beat kakugawa and um that that made us advance to what i assume is the qualifiers two months later um well where date tech alba josai and shiro torizawa are here the big hitters this is this is where it matters beating ogi south and kakugawa was more like the warm-up you know what i'm saying those matches weren't particularly hard we beat them 2-0 and kakugawa was kind of hard in the sense that we had to fight against possibly the tallest person we've seen in the show but once we figured out that you know he's a pretty basic volleyball player and he just started playing it was pretty easy to beat them after that um but now now we're here against the big hitters and our first match is against Josenji. The only thing we know about Josenji is that um, they're apparently pretty damn good and they're known as the party team, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping for a good match. Obviously, I'm hoping for a dub so we can make it. You know, the goal is to get past well, where we were last time. We got knocked out in the third round last time, I believe. So we want to get past that. Right, that's the initial goal. Then after that, we can set some more goals. But first, we have to pass where we lost last year. So, what more can I say? I'm ready to watch these fucking tournament matches. This is what I've been waiting for. This is where my hype begins. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it going, man. This is High Q Season Two, Episode 15. Like and subscribe, y'all. Let's go. Wait, what the fuck was that? That was a back back attack. <laughs> what the hell? That was kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. All right. What's the word I'm looking for? Unorthodox. These guys seem unorthodox. You know what I'm saying? Like that back back attack and that freaking foot sweep. Huh. That's kind of awesome. Nice Tanaka. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's so cool. Freaking Hinata, bro. Nice! Wow. Nice lob. Imagine Hinata creates a new attack bouncing off the fucking wall. <laughs> I can totally see that happening in the future. Damn. There's the first one. The super fat, the tempo zero attack. Oh wow, interesting. That's kind of a cool way to practice. You know, that probably ups the effort of everyone on the team. <clears throat> if you're so used to getting the ball or touching the ball. What the fuck? Wow. And I guess, you know what? That was a good example. They, because they play two, two on twos, I guess everyone knows how to set. Everyone knows how to spike, receive, all that type shit. 
I love, I kind of like their unorthodox kind of play. So far, I've seen pretty textbook stuff. Nice block. Kageyamas. Oh, hey, whatever works. Good enough. Wait, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Wait, who is that guy? Who's that sub? I have literally never seen him before on this show. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of Bokuto. You know how free spirited Bokuto is? The, the ace. Bokuto Dani. Don't mind, don't mind! Don't mind, don't mind! Nice kiru! One touch! <laughs> I'm starting to notice some, uh, some of these volleyball uh, chants and terms. Sugawada version. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well, honestly, it's great to know that w without Kageyama and Hinata, we can still fucking score some points with Sugawada and this random Narita guy. That's what's up, man. That's, that's really good to know. That's like a sense of relief. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Was that improvised? I feel like that was improvised. And that's why they missed it. They wanted to try it out. Wow. That's pretty ballsy to try out a new move in a fucking sanctioned match. <laughs>かっこいいじゃないの。出実冒険だって。それは好みの問題だけど、チームには合ってないっすよ。少なくとも俺らの代。つか、これからの代には合ってない。Yeah, instead of a uh, simple and strong, it should be what? Reckless and willing. Ooh, fire. <laughs> oh, Daichi with the clutch. Dude, Daichi, bro. He's like the recover god, no? God damn! Again! There it is. Dude! Alright, well I think this this match definitely confirms fucking Daichi is the receiving recover god. I mean, dude. Nishinoya's defense is definitely the best, you know? But Daichi, man, he can receive that bitch. <laughs> yeah, Josenji is kind of beating themselves right now. They're making a lot of unforced errors, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. Never change, Tanaka and Ishinoya never change. <laughs> okay. That was the opener for Karasuno versus Josenji. Um, sorry, random text. Um, okay, well, it looks like we got it in the bag. Even though I know it's not over, we won the first set, and it looks like we're on our way to win the second set. We got things under control, we have the momentum. Uh, just even though Josenji just got a motivational speech from their manager, 
um, Misaki, Misaki, right? Um, but I, 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 I have no doubts that we will be able to close it out. You know what I'm saying? As motivated as they are, we should be able to close it out. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing too exciting here. We saw, uh, at least, actually the most, uh, the thing that stood out to me most, most this episode is Daichi showing how he really is the captain. You know, he's, uh, he's the one to bring our spirits up, you know, to give us that tap on the shoulder, like, don't mind, don't mind. You know what I'm saying? And I think he may bail us out the most, even more than Nishinoya. Nishinoya is there for like the really difficult, like receives, but Daichi is there when we, when, when we fuck up, you know, not only through verbally talking, but his actions too, when he's on the court, like he's constantly, uh, receiving and is constantly recovering the ball and shit. Like that's definitely some captain type shit. And I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? So Daichi is definitely proving his worth, proving why he is the captain. You know what I mean? Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, I can't wait to see uh, how our boys close it out so we can move on. I'm, I'm trying to see, you know, that th these Josenji guys are cool and all, but clearly we are better. And I'm trying to see us go up against someone that's better than us because those are the really cool hype matches. You know what I'm saying? That's the ones where we have to dig deep and find some more fucking attacks that we didn't even know we had. But, but I do appreciate Josenji for being very free spirited and their their ace or the guy with the highlights reminds me a lot of Bokuto from Fukuro Dani. Very loud and free spirited and whatnot. So very cool, very cool. Um, looking forward to watching the next episode. This is gonna be it for this reaction though. But before I end this video, make sure you guys look at the links down below. You can find my um, Discord. Um, come on in and join our little community. And of course, my Patreon, where I am 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching with the full reactions available, of course. And last but not least, make sure to check out my live streams on this YouTube channel, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, 12 p.m. PST. Uh, most, most of the time I'm playing game, but sometimes I'll do like a random like drinking stream or some, or some dumb shit. So check that out. It's really, really fun. Uh, with that being said, I'm out of here. You guys have a good one, and I will see you guys for the next episode of Haikyuu. All right, peace.